Okay, friends, it's man card number five. And as I promise you, easy, easy, easy. And beautiful. The world of good. This set is so awesome. Um, you'll see it at our next club. Um, I'll demo it a little bit better than today, but for right now, I just wanted you to see what it looks like. And uh, a confession that I have to make. I sure as all of you remember the embossing folder that is, um, well, it, it's the globe. It's, and it was in a travel set of some sort. And it had compass and that kind of thing on it. Anyway, I used that embossing folder. And my original intent for this card was for it to be in the vertical position. Well, when I embossed all those 25 pieces of blue paper, Misty Moonlight, um, I did it backwards. I mean, I, I put it in the embossing folder as you normally would. Well, the embossing folder is made in a landscape position. So these are all embossed in landscape. Now, it's going to be up to you. You take a look at it and see if you think it would uh, be a real bad thing to do it in vertical position. Uh, it's kind of one of those things, will anybody really pay any attention to it? You know what it is. And for me, uh, that's, that's the way I would look at it. I mean, I would see this card, I would know that the background is a map. I wouldn't really pay any attention to whether it's forward, backward, left, or right. Uh, but anyway, it's up, it'll be up to you, whatever you want to do. But for now, I'm going to have to demonstrate it in landscape position. Okay? So, there you go. I even tried to emboss over it, which I did on this one. It looks kind of crazy. I don't know if you can see it, but it would work. I mean, again, would you really pay any attention to that? So, so no worries. And I would have done it over, but I don't have any more misty moonlight. So, here we go. Um, in the kit, you have that embossed piece of misty moonlight. You have a piece of gold that has a couple of things cut out of it. And you have your white card base. You also have the globe, western part of the world cut out uh, a black circle to back that with. You have a stand to sit your globe in and your greeting which says just the glasses here follow your heart it will take you to incredible places. Okay. This is going to be very simple. We're going to go ahead right away and layer our gold piece on. And I want you to treat this gingerly. It does scratch easily and dent, um, that kind of thing. I did learn in the process of cutting these out that when you run it through your, um, your die cut machine, you need to put a piece of paper, tissue or copy paper or something like that, uh, on top of it before you put your plate on otherwise you're going to get all the marks that are on your plate and it's just doesn't work very well comes out real ugly so let's go ahead and adhere this gold piece and be ginger with it be sure you get your card base right side up Oh, you can't see, can you? Son of a gun. I'm so bad. There, that might be a little bit better. Okay. Adhere the gold piece to your card base. Um, I actually cut this one just a tiny, tiny little bit bigger so we wouldn't have any problems. And it looks like that may have been the thing to do. Okay, now your blue piece, hmm. I was 
going to say you might want to change sides and use the deboss, but then your countries are going to be backwards. So we're not going to do that. And you have <coughs> a very large reveal on this one. It's uh, just a tad bit larger than a quarter of an inch. Didn't want to waste all that pretty gold. And if you go ahead and use your fingernail to smooth that edge down, flatten out the embossing a little bit, it looks a little more finished. I believe you'll find that to be true. Okay, now for our candle stand, uh, we're going to put some adhesive on the base of it and probably just a couple of drops of blue glue I think ought to do the trick a um, couple on the candlestick itself now I'm calling it a candlestick and a couple right at the very corners You call that good. And you're probably going to need your tweezers to pick this one up. Okay. And I'm going to lay it. Approximately in there. Come on, don't be stuck yet. Hmm, I think that may be too high. Come down a little bit. Um, probably, oh, looking like about, I'm having more trouble with the tweezers, about a half an inch from your gold border. Except for getting glue on my gold, I did okay. All right. Now we're going to get the blue glue out again. See if your world map needs any, or globe needs any purging. Mine does. Some blue glue on the larger areas. Did a couple on the obvious ones, and then on the opposite side, there's a couple of places that are larger than others. That would be good. I just put dots of this blue glue and call it good. Okay. Tweezers again. And your black circle is going to be just a tiny bit larger than your globe. Which looks really good. And then you're going to slip this down inside of there. Isn't that cool? Wow, that is really cool. <laughs> this isn't so cool though. Guess who did their card upside down? That's okay. We'll do something. I'll cut it apart. Okay, now for our greeting. We're just going to adhere the blue to the black. Um, 
It has approximately a sixteenth of an inch reveal. And we're going to lay that right in here like so. I think I would pop that seriously. That would be cute. Ouch. If you're not using the solid foam, you should use quite a few of these. At least six on this one. And I have black ones and didn't even think about that. I'm going to put one more in there. Okay. Get that backing off of there. There you go. You are done. Isn't that pretty? I mean, I think I, this um, Misty Moonlight is a favorite color of mine. A while back, some of you might remember Midnight Muse. It was a really pretty blue, too. Uh, in fact, I would say that it was about the exact same blue, but in a darker shade. And I was really sad when it went away. But they've come back now with this one. I actually wrote them a letter and said, Will you please bring back Misty, M M Moonlight, Misty Muse, Moonlight Muse, whatever it was. Um, and they didn't, but they came up with this. So I thought that was kind of cool. Anyway, I'm, I'm happy we have a color like this back that steel grayish whatever you want to call it it just goes with so many things and it's hard to find it truly is hard to find so um that's all i've got for you ladies i want to thank you for taking this class and i hope you've enjoyed all five of these cards uh remember about the little embellishments i talked about that the next time we get together we'll try to dig some of those up for you um and that's all I've got. Can't wait to see you for club. Um, I'll be in touch soon, you know. And, well, probably within a week and let you know uh, when club is going to be and the hours and that kind of thing and how COVID is looking and whether we're going to get together or whether or not. And we'll just go from there. Take it one day at a time. That's about all we can do, I think. Uh, in the meantime, I want everybody to stay safe. I will see you before the next club because I'll have to get you your kits if we don't meet in person. And so for now, I will say adios. Know that I love you all and I care about you. And I really do miss you. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>